Hello everyone, Mr. Horror here. And to celebrate how well you guys liked the first video that I did about a month ago, I figured it's time to make a part two. Real quick, I just wanted to say if you guys enjoy the content, want more content like this, and want to support the channel, I encourage you to click the link below to my Patreon. The tiers are from two, five, and ten dollars. Everyone gets the same treatment, and you get my videos anywhere from a week to two days earlier before they go up on my YouTube channel. Stay tuned to the end of this video when I give you guys some scary movie recommendations and ask a question so you can be featured in the next video like this. So without any further ado or delay, let's get right into the video. For the first video, I figured we'd start off kinda light, and it says this. Closed this drawer a half hour prior. Came back five minutes later to it being opened. Coworker and I are the only ones in the store, and he was in the back. At the time of this recording, my coworker was behind me counting the drawer. The drawer stayed closed since recording, posting this one hour later since. Let me know what you guys think. Is there a person behind the uh, drawer pushing it from the outside? Or is this a real paranormal encounter? I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this video on Reddit or around YouTube or whatever, posted by Stalker the Zone, and it says, This was about a year ago. I do security at a hospital. The chair was on the outside of the hallway on my first patrol, and on my second patrol, this is what I had found. This is really the only time I've ever experienced anything spooky like this. Never really a believer until this happened. Let me know what you guys think. Is there somebody around the corner with a string, or is this all real? See? See, I fucking don't. No, 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 By the way he's reacting and just runs off like that, it seems pretty real, and, uh, either that or he's a really good actor. And also, I just wanted to say, I'm not here to prove or disprove if these videos are real or fake, and it's completely up to you guys to decide. Before this video starts, you guys, I just wanted to preface this by saying that it's very well known that dogs and cats have a type of sixth sense, and can usually see things that we can't, and every time my dog looks off into just space, or if he growls at nothing, it tends to freak me out. So they're always good to have during a uh, paranormal investigation. This comes from another Redditor, and it's just titled, My house is haunted? Question mark. Can cats see ghosts? Let me know what you guys think. She just does that. Ever thought you guys just had a dream home that you always wanted, but you never knew if anyone died or anything like that in there? Or you don't even know the history of the house? Well, this person called Save My Mother Martha on Reddit has this video of a creepy voice caught on camera. And I'm going to play the whole clip and just let me know if you guys hear it. The video just says, I took this five years ago, was wondering if you guys hear anything after the dog barks. And it sounds like some spirit saying it's cold, like a, a woman saying it's cold. It's just a very sad type of voice. Let me know what you guys hear if you hear something different down in the comments below. Now these unnerving videos aren't necessarily supposed to be, you know, paranormal or anything like that. You could have psychos, creepy things, monsters, whatever. In my experience of ghost hunting and stuff in the past, I thought that it would always be much scarier if I came in contact with a person who 
I didn't know was there or didn't even expect me to be there. You know, like those urban exploration videos where there's some psychopath who's chasing them down. This comes from a redditor called Rye Alpha, and it just says, My dad's friend from work has a doorbell cam. This is what he woke up to. Some strange woman with a knife in her hand. Now, this video is kind of long, it's about three minutes, and I didn't even realize the knife. I, I didn't even read, like, the actual caption. It just says, Nightmares Above It by another redditor post. But it, it's just weird that somebody would come at such a late hour with a knife and no mask, and it's just an old woman. Now, if anyone recognizes this woman or knows anything about her, um, if she's not already caught, I would recommend that you report her to the police, or whether this video is, like, fake, you know, just comment that as well. But yeah, I'm very glad nobody got hurt and she didn't go through the door. But it looks like she got at that age to where she's about ready to, uh, just do anything. Here's the video. Well that just about wraps it up for the end of the video. If you guys liked it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and here's some movie recommendations. I would definitely recommend Rob Zombie's 31 if you haven't seen it. I would definitely recommend it. It's a great film. I've also been getting more and more into the Saw series lately, and uh, I would definitely say check out the entire Saw series. You won't be disappointed. Sometimes they're a little eh, but uh, they're actually really good. I, I love them, in my opinion. And just a question for you guys. What is the scariest thing to ever happen to you? Comment down below to get featured in the next video like this. Have a great night everyone, and stay safe.